43 mobile apps have been blocked by the government. So 43 more apps in addition to the apps that have already been blocked. Remember earlier, the government had banned 59 apps. The government has said that this ban is based on inputs that these apps are engaging in activities that are uh, pre that are prejudicial to India's sovereignty and integrity. So that's the stand that's been taken by the government. It claims that these are all apps that endanger India's defense security, public order, and uh, there are comprehensive reports from cybercrime centers uh, on the basis of which 43 more mobile apps have been banned. My colleague Arvind Gunasekar, tracking the details of this story, joins us. Arvind, uh, what more can you tell us about these apps that have been banned? The Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology has again banned around 42 mobile applications under the uh, Information Technology Act. In fact, under the Section 69A of the Information Technology Act, that gives power for the uh, central government to block the access to the uh, uh, mobile application. So under the said act, now the central government has, has blocked around 43 mobile applications and what the ministry in a statement has said that the application all these mobile applications were prejudicial, were prejudicial uh, to the uh, to the uh, sovereignty and integrity of the country and that's why the government has taken such a strong step in uh, banning all these 43 mobile applications this is not the first time the government is blocking uh, such mobile application even on on uh, june 29th also the government had blocked 59 mobile mobile applications and again on 2nd september again 118 mobile applications were banned so in total as on date around 220 mobile applications have been banned by the central government uh, for for being prejudicial to the sovereignty and also integrity and also being uh, being a threat to the uh, national security all right, so uh, the Union Ministry of Electronics and IT, they're blocking access to 43 more mobile applications in addition to the 59 that have already been blocked, saying that these apps are engaging in activities which are prejudicial to the sovereignty and integrity of India, to the defense of India, and the security of the state and the public order. Um, Arvind, the quick question before we let you go, are these all Chinese apps that have been banned? Do we have any information or clarity? Uh, in fact, the central government in, in today's statement, they have not given the origin of all these mobile applications, but right. but a perusal of all these 43 uh, mobile applications, so most of these mobile applications have some kind of origins, have some kind of uh, connection with China, if you could take Alibaba, Workbrain, and again, AliExpress, etc. All these mobile applications have something to do with China, and what the government is saying is that earlier they had blocked 59 mobile applications in June, and again in September, again 118 mobile applications were banned. So that comes to somewhere around 100 and 180 mobile applications were banned uh, before, and again today 43 mobile applications have been banned. In total, around 220 mobile applications have been banned as on date, and all these mobile applications, in one way or the other, has something to do with, has some kind of connection with China, and that's why the government under the Section 50, uh, 69 a of the IT Act has said that because all these mobile applications are being a threat to the national security and that's why the government has banned all these 220 mobile applications. Arvind Gunasekar, appreciate you for joining us with the details of this uh, big breaking story at this hour. Uh, 43 more mobile applications in addition to the earlier 59 have now been banned.